Recently a friend of mine gave me some a drone from his property and they were approximately 20 inches long, still full round. I cut them into blanks, I sealed the ends and no matter what I tried they, they all started cracking. I probably should have left them full round, cut them in half and turned them immediately but maybe the next time if I get some more I'll do that. This one cracked and this one also started cracking on the bottom. It'll end up being a small turning if if I want to leave the cracks in it, which I probably will. I think this one will be very interesting. But the one that I'm really disappointed in is I started turning this bowl. It was going to be a natural edge. I turned it, roughed it out, oh maybe seven eighths thick, and I thought, well, I'm going to pack it in the wet shavings, let it sit, and it'll come out perfect. Two days later, it cracked right down through here, and it twisted so much, I don't know if I can get that lined up, but the tenon is now pointing 15, 20 degrees off of what it started. Well, I'm not one to waste wood. So what I'm going to do now, and I already actually did, I sliced this bottom off, but I'm going to uh, choose a complementary wood to this color. I'm going to glue it on and I'm saving this turning. I just feel like this was going to be a great bowl, now it's going to be an okay bowl. I did manage to get this one turned without cracks. It has a really nice feature over here, sort of a natural edge left on it. It has a knot up here. It's uh, no longer round. I let it, turned it to this size and I just let it dry and it warped, which is nice. Fortunately I was able to get it sanded mostly before I let it dry, but then a little more sanding afterwards and I'm, I'm happy with this one. Madrone is really nice to turn. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this bottom where I sawed it off so I can get a good glue joint. I'm going to do it on my disc sander here that I built. I'm going to get some noise going here. Dust collector. Well, here it is, all sanded, nice and flat. My first thought was to glue up some segments, put it on the bottom. But I think I'm going to just take a nice piece of uh, walnut and make that the new bottom and not spend too much time on this. But hopefully it comes out looking really nice. I picked out a piece of walnut that I can glue on the bottom of my uh, madrone piece. I jointed the bottom side of it and I'll take these little discs that I make that fit my chuck and they're, they're basically glue blocks where I can glue my work to that. This one has already been used for a piece of walnut at one time so I'll get that centered and then I'll glue it on onto the piece of walnut. And then here's my madrone. And then this I will end up, after facing the bottom off, I'm going to glue that onto here. Alright, I got that piece of walnut mounted up on my chuck. I'm going to flatten it out, create a good glue surface, and put the piece of madrone on it.
I'll let this sit all night. Let the glue dry good. I have it mounted in my chuck. It's fairly well balanced on here. I can't say for sure that this is going to work, but I'm sure going to give it a try. That might work. Make sure I'm going to have enough on the inside to work on. Yeah, that's about as far as I should go there for now. Yeah, there we go on the inside. <clears throat> Looks like there should be enough there to finish a bowl out. I got the inside almost ready to sand a little shear scraping on the outside and uh, I'm going to sand it up. Got to turn about 1200 RPMs. Okay, pretty sure I can sand all that out now. Okay, I've got the uh, Madrone Walnut Bowl all sanded up. I'm going to apply some Wipe-On Poly now.
trying out the Watco brand this time. I usually use the Minwax. And I ran out and went to the store and this is what they had so I decided to try it. I think it looks alright. It's certainly a beautiful piece of walnut that I have here. Maybe I'll move the camera the other direction so we can uh, see what it looks like going on the outside. Okay, here we go on the outside. spectacular piece of walnut. It came out of some rough walnut I purchased and uh, a lot of it had bug holes in it but there wasn't any in this piece. But I got a good enough deal on the walnut I can live with a few bug holes. Well, I'll go ahead and finish the rest of this up and then uh, show it to you when we're all done with it. Well, I've finished the uh, Madrona and Walnut Bowl. I think I saved it and I really like the contrast of the two woods. This has a really nice little knot right there top edge stayed pretty nice madrone usually doesn't have very much bark on it I think the major part of the bark falls off and that's it's left with this which is very colorful and uh, I think it was successful here's here's the old bottom that I cut off which had quite the crack in it and then the new one so what I'm going to do now is I haven't got a finish on the bottom yet so I'm going to go ahead and put some finish on it and then I'll get some pictures taken Okay, I'll let that dry and get a few more coats on it and then I'll take my pictures.